what's going on guys welcome back to another video and i'm actually recording this video the same day that i recorded the video from last night i decided i was i was gonna put it in one video but the story ended up being a little bit longer than what i wanted so i figured might as well just go ahead and split it um but like i was mentioning in the other video um i think i'd mentioned it i ended up going with 12 and a half millimeter spacers um at first i was gonna go with 15 and then I couldn't make up my mind if I wanted 10 or 15. So I found the, the ones by Rand, they're 12 and a half. I figured might as well play it safe, go with something in the middle. Worst case, if I don't like it, I can actually push the camera back out just a little bit um, because I do plan on going to a 245, 35 tire in the future. Uh, I'm not gonna keep the 235. I don't think I'm gonna keep it, but I'm not sure yet. Um, I do have maybe thoughts of going a little bit wider in the front um but hopefully that's gonna be enough um to get the fitment that i want for now um but yeah guys i'm not gonna show you guys a tutorial because it's really simple is there's no rocket science to it but i'll do a quick time lapse just to show you guys uh maybe the process i don't know uh but i'll show you guys the outcome in a little bit so see you guys in a bit Alright guys, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drop the car and I'm going to do my best not to look at the fitment uh, because I want to take a look at it at the same time that you guys do. I have one on, as you guys saw, it didn't really take much time. Uh, what you want to do is either line it up with the on the hub or on the wheel. I prefer to line it up with the wheel because it was a lot easier for me. But uh, yeah guys, I'm going to go ahead and do the other one and then we'll show you guys or I'll show you guys and or we'll see the final result. Alright guys, breaking a sweat, alright, moment of truth, let me line you guys up, now, let's see, we'll go with this angle right here, ready? I think honestly this is oh yeah I'm not I'm, I know for sure I'm not gonna rub I don't have to roll, roll my fenders even though they're partially rolled because whenever I had the wider tires they were starting to push it out from this part right here so you'll notice a slight flare you guys see that right there so it started to pull itself um, but it's not a big deal I still have enough clearance right now You guys can see the slight flare already that was starting to come out but I mean I still have enough clearance oh yeah I like that yep That's like fucking almost even. Excuse my language, but 
I got a slight poke right here and slight poke right here but enough clearance to still turn and not have any rubbing issues yeah guys what do you guys think I love it dude this is honestly I've been waiting so long to get spacers it's not even funny how like this is it's something I've always wanted to do and it's so simple so easy and I just never actually did it um, I don't know why like I just kept putting it to the side I was like ah well I didn't want to do the camber because I didn't want to go through the process of getting an alignment and the look that you get from having certain fitment is crazy I gotta go get my stuff um, go exercise a little bit and we'll take a drive we'll see if we notice any kind of shaking or anything like that um, but hopefully we should be good to go um, but I'll see you guys in a bit Alright guys, I'm going 67, now I'm going to go up to like 70 I guess, 71, 72, um, no shaking going on, it's safe to say that the spacers are a good buy if you ever, if you do want to push your wheels out just a little bit, uh, I know there's some spacers that have been mentioned that do cause some kind of shake. But these don't, uh, these are actually really cheap. If you guys want to go grab a set, um, you can get them off Sonic Tuning. They have 10, 12, and uh, 15, and I believe you can get a 20 mil or 25 mil from them as well. I just happened to use spacers just because the wheels that I got, they weren't purchased new, so they weren't purchased to my specs. And then another thing is, my wheels were, I mean, this is a new platform that I'm going, that I'm you know working on I never actually bought wheels for my old F30 and the E90s are actually a different um, I mean it's a completely different car um, you can fit you you fit different specs on that car where the fuck am I going I just went the wrong way shit <laughs> but yeah guys um, I mean if you want to run spacers go right ahead there's no there's no issues running them I know it's kind of hard to get the perfect fitment that you might want by buying specs, you know, buying wheels that already come a certain spec, unless you get custom wheels and you know what you're working with. Um, now, if I ever were to buy uh, new wheels, I know what specs I want to I want to run. So technically, oh shit, my lens. Uh, so now my backs are still. Um, the usual specs they're 10 inch wide with the 40 offset and the fronts are 9 inch wide with let's see they were at 35 so now they're 23 offset um, yeah guys so if you guys want to run the same fitment that I have um, they're 9, and a half, nine, nine inch wide with a 23 inch offset in the front and a um, 40 offset in the back with the 10 inch wide wheel but that's going to do it for today, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And thank you for those that have been subscribing. Um, I, I am going to be posting another video coming up soon. Uh, I have to do my spark plugs. Um, and then that way I'll be getting ready for uh, MHD. So thank you, for, uh, thank you for watching, guys. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Drop a like. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.